hey what's up guys today I'm here with another brand new video in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the rust from the brake rotor the removing of rust from any object uh, like this one that is I'm going to show you how to remove is called electrolysis process in this process I will show you how to remove the rust from this brake rotor and the method that is I'm going to use is very simple and cheap guys as you can see this rusty rotor this is very rusty and I am going to show you how to remove this rust now today I am going to show you how to remove this rust from this black router as you can see this is very rusty this all rust will be removed by electrolysis process so guys let's see what things I am going to use in this process and let me show to you so guys I am using this stuff uh, as container for solution so guys for making solution we will put water in it and put some sodium carbonate washing soda it's, it is also called a washing soda sodium carbonate in it and uh, the solution will be ready so let's pour some water in this tub so guys now we will put some sodium carbonate so now our solution is almost ready and uh, let's put a black router in it so guys this is the black router and I have, I have connected a steel wire to it make sure there should be a contact, contact with the rotor from this wire and this, this this is going to be a negative one and the other steel I'm going to put in this bucket will be a positive one so the other steel will be this butchers what this call is I don't know what is it called but it's a butchers axe I think so I will put it so guys I'm going to use this battery charger for this process electrolysis process and uh, if you want to know how to make this battery charger so check out my previous video and uh, link or link in the description down below so this is the charger that I'm going to use in this process is 12 volt and 5 ampere I I recommend you 12 volt 2 ampere that is enough for that so it, I'm going to use this 5 ampere 12 volt 5 ampere so the method is same as I have made this in the previous video but you should uh, have a 2 ampere of transformer in this in this battery charger video so check out uh, this battery charger video how I made this one so guys just okay, just uh, connect this positive terminal from the charger to the object that is that you are going to remove the rust from and uh, another black one is will uh, connect this one to the uh, other side that the rust will go to this side make sure the terminal should not uh, uh, deep in the water guys unplug the charger before you are connecting these terminals if you do not feel safe and that uh, you don't know what you are doing so don't attempt this this may be dangerous for you don't do this if you don't know what you are doing so now I have uh, connected uh, the uh, red the positive the positive terminal from the charger to the uh, object that is going to be removed rust 
from and the other one is connected to this which will attract the rust from the brake rotor so the negative charge attracts the positive charge and the rust will keep coming here it will collect all the rust from that brake rotor so now guys i'm going to turn the a charger on and let's see what happened so the charger is on after a few minutes you will see the bubbles coming from the solution and that that is the indicator that it is working so guys here you can see the bubbles are coming and it's it means that it is working just leave it for one day 24 hours and it will work fine the all rust will be removed you just keep it checked uh, after three to four hours uh, uh, to make sure that everything is fine so guys one thing I forgot to tell you don't do this process inside your room or indoor so just do this outdoor outside from the room and just do it outdoor so as you can see the bubbles are coming and you can see some rust are coming off from the rotor so just leave it for approximately 24 hours it will take to completely remove the rust and uh, now I am going to leave this for 24 hours and I will check it back uh, in 4 to 5 uh, hour and so uh, I have uh, I am going to leave this outdoor so that uh, is good so guys thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and give this video 500 likes that would be so amazing and thanks see you tomorrow hey guys I'm back after 20 hours and you can see how the rust came out from the brake rotor let's turn the charger off and take out the brake router as you can see the rust came out from the back rotor and stick on this this is so nasty rust let's check the brake router the apart date was if you want to remove the rust. oh look at that this is awesome completely the rust have gone Wow Guys as you can see the brake rotor is completely clean and clear and the all the rust have gone Let me show you a little closer hey. So guys this is the rotor that all the rust have removed and it is clean and clear now I'm going to show you from the back side we just need to uh, clean this with the steel wire brush and by the way all the rust have completely gone you can see you you can see that it was not before like this and all the rust have gone so I'm going to use a steel wire brush to clean this 
all up it is also removing with uh, by re just rubbing a finger so i am going to rub a steel wire brush and and i will see you back you can see this is the completely rust has been gone after 20 hours this process took 20 hours so see you later so this is our brake rotor after cleaning with a steel wire brush for two minutes and so now it is in front of you how it was before and after as you can see it is perfectly the rust has gone and pretty shining right has gone and it's look brand new you can see from this side as you can see pretty clean and clear so this is the brake rotor that we have removed the rust from by electrolysis process so guys it was the rust removing process and as you can see it is pretty clean give this video over 500 likes that would be so amazing and subscribe to my channel share this video and comments on it i will bring more things for you thanks for watching